Hello friends, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a polygon using the Canvas API. So before we start to code, let, let's understand the formula which we are going to use to create that polygon. So starting with the basics, let's say you have a x axis and you have a line on that x axis. The point here A has coordinates x, y and this line makes an angle theta with the x-axis suppose we want to find a find the coordinates of point b which is at a distance d from a so the coordinates of this point becomes x plus d sine t or d cos theta comma y plus d sine theta okay now suppose we want to draw a polygon of sides n so if n equals to 3, we have a triangle. If n equals to 4, we have a square. If n equals 5, we have a pentagon and so on. So if n tends to infinity, it basically becomes a circle with small, small sides. So on your circle, if we want to plot a polygon of let's say n sides, we take the center of the circle, x comma y, draw the x axis here and take points theta angle away from that axis so this point is theta away from x axis this point again is theta angle away from the previous point this angle again is theta angle away and so on so now uh, i am i am able to take theta here because what i am assuming is all the sides of the polygon which we are going to create have equal length l so the so length side is l here also l l and so on okay now using the previous formula what we found is if the center is x comma y then this becomes x plus let's say the radius is r x plus r cos theta comma y plus r sin theta right now what we need to do is find the value of r and find the value of theta to get to know the coordinates of this point so inside a circle we have 360 degrees right and these 360 degrees are divided by n number of theta angles so the value of a theta becomes 360 by n also in JavaScript, we calculate values of angles in form of radians. In mathematics, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi. So your theta becomes 2 pi by n. So now that we have got the value of theta, let's find the value of r. So inside each triangle, if I take it here, we have radius r, r. And the distance between each point L. If I draw a perpendicular here, this theta will get divided into half, so it will be theta by 2, and this length will be L by 2. So, using the sine theta formula, we know sine theta here it's theta by 2 is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So, your perpendicular is L by 2 and your hypotenuse is r so your value of radius becomes l by 2 divided by sine theta by 2 so now we have got the values of theta and r so using this formula we can now get the values of our new coordinates and we'll be using this same formula in our code to create a polygon with with size l and angle theta also one more thing to note here is if the value of this particular point is x plus r cos theta the value of this point will become x plus r cos 2 theta comma y plus r sin 2 theta and so on so on for other points so that's it for this video in the next video we'll learn how to code this out.
on the Canvas API. Thanks for watching.